Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Undertale. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and hung out with Undyne and became friends and we were able to uh, have her go over to Papyrus and now they're hanging out and whenever we call, we not only get a Papyrus but Undyne as well. In this episode, first of all, okay, nobody picked up still, okay, just wanted to make sure. This episode, we're going to head into Alfie's lab. It's you? Oh, my God. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy, and... Um... Hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, uh, I'm not one of your bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um... Been observing your journey through my console, your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but uh, watching someone on a screen really makes you root for him. So uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through the Hotland. I know a way right to Athagord's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an, an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently, I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um... Anti... Anti-human combat features? Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided... I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> but, uh, hopefully we won't run into him. Hmm? Did you hear something? Oh no. Oh, yes! Welcome, beauties! To today's quiz show! Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show! Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant! Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Metaton attacks. Metaton, attack 30, defense 255. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the price for answering correctly? And Alphys is going to go ahead and cheat and give us the answers. Right, sounds like you get it. The quiz show continues. Cry. Screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Asgore Dreamer. Correct! What a terrific answer! The quiz show continues. Let's just spare. Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are robots made out of? Too easy for you, huh? Here's another easy one for you. Wonderful! I'm astounded, folks! Oh. Don't count on your victory! New flies are in this jar. Correct! You're so lucky today! Let's play memory game! What monster is this? I'm so flattered you remembered. 
But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Great answer, I love it. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? Of course that was easy for you. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game. Oh, oh, I know this one. It's snail ice cream. The f in the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Alfies, Alfies, Alfies. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alfies have a crush on? See, Alfies, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together. Sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. With Dr. Alfie's helping you, the show is no traumatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Well, that was certainly something. <laughs> that last question. He wasn't supposed to ask that one. You're at Alfie's, la Alfie's lab? Is she there? Hey, tell her I said hi, okay? And tell me how she's doing. And tell me if she needs anything, and... Wait, no, don't ask any of that. But she's fine, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, we can't say anything. We have this right here. It's a bathroom sign. Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. Then, maybe, if you need my help, I could... Well, where did you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Can't do anything up there. So that was Alfie's and Metaton. I hope I did good voices for both of them. I feel like I'm just get this entire series is just going to be me worrying about if I'm doing good voices for these because I'm not a voice actor at all. I'm not very good at doing voices. But, uh, you know, these are characters that have certain voices that everyone thinks about, and I hope I can do a good impression of that. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. All these books are labeled to you, okay? Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. All labeled human history. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. So yeah, she enjoys, you know, manga and anime and stuff like that, and so, yeah, pink goop drips from this strange machine. What is this even for? <laughs> Looks like Alfie's work table. Seems dusty. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and single in a single clean dress. It's a lamp with a pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. That's a great bit. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap, it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true.
the lab. So now what we're going to see is we're going to get a lot of uh, notifi notifications from basically the underground's version of like Twitter or Facebook or some other social media site. You have to realize I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Speaking of Undyne, neither of us know anything about Hotland. So we'll just have to combine our power. Zero plus zero is still zero. Yeah, but it's a big zero. The biggest zero. <laughs> well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. I rode on a conveyor belt once. I learned pretty fast that they make me sick. Did you hell? Yeah, like 9,000 times. It was awesome. Stop calling and making her say gross things. Whoop. Vulcan. Okay. I have a couple of things that I forgot to mention, but uh, I'll go ahead and say those things later. So first, with Vulcan, we need to go ahead and uh, let's encourage it. You tell Vulcan that it's doing a great job. Its attacks become extreme. Ha ah, ah, ha, does my best. So now, uh, gotta go ahead and spare it. And yeah, that's all you need to do for Vulcan. Gonna call them in a minute. Yeah, just gotta make our way quickly throughout the uh, conveyor belt sections. All right, gotta keep going. And here's a save point. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs, it fills you with determination. Nice. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this, Lamau. Here's a debate that I think that I've talked about before on this channel. Oh, Sundar Plane. Not on purpose or anything. Uh, we're going to go ahead and approach it. You get close to Sundar Plane, but not too close. Eh, human. So we have to keep hitting these green things. And then once you hear that noise, then you can go ahead and spare them. Or spare, spare the, spare the plane. Oh. oh my god, I went my claw over the last digit for five minutes. Oh my god, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. Steam vents? I think Alfie's told me about those. The core cools off by releasing steam through those. And at, and at the same time, it doubles as transport. Pretty cool if you aren't wearing a dress. Huh? Did you put on a dress? No. <laughs> uh, two things. First of all, Alphys's name. Uh, you can pronounce it as either Alphys or Alphys. Uh, it might be easier to pronounce it Alphys because, you know, whenever Alphys is plural or like, whenever Alph Alphys' name is possessive, then it'll be Alphys's instead of Alphys's, which is a bit harder to pronounce. Second of all, I think I've talked about this debate before. But whenever you look at a oh, phone call, click, whoever was calling hum, hung up before you answered it. So whenever you see an acronym like LOL or OMG or something like that, do you, or like LMAO or something like that, do you say, there are three ways of saying it. Do you say each individual letter like LOL or do you like say LOL like you know, like saying it like it's a word, or do you say, like, the actual words in the acronym, like, oh my god, instead of OMG? I don't know, you, you can debate about that in the comment comments. I sort of switch between all three. Right. Uh, hi, so, the blue lasers, uh, I mean, Alfie's here, hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um, you have to be moving, and they, um, they won't, um... Move through those ones. Uh, bye. Oh my god, I did it. Claw that went shook like that since that Undyne called me to ask about the weather. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me?
So yeah, you can clearly see that Undyne and Alfie's both have crushes on each other. Alrighty, we deactivate the lasers. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. Cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. Alfie's here. Uh, the, the, north, the northern the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and the left. I think you should go to the right first. Alrighty. The way to work is blocked, so I had time to catch Metaton's show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human looked almost real. Metaton? Yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. <laughs> I wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. So let's go right first. Uh, like she said. So these puzzles, they're fairly easy. Uh, like this one, we have two... Uh, two bullets, I guess. And so we just need to make sure that we can go ahead and shoot the ship on the other side by moving the blocks out of the way. I think this will just say that. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the block boxes to complete your mission. Yep. Wow, you solved it? I'm impressed. You must be a total nerd. I think if you talked to that guy before, he, he would be like, yeah, all my friends are just aren't helping with the puzzle, but I want to get to work today or something like that. I don't know. Ring. Alfie's here. That blue laser seems totally impassable. B -b -b but as the royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack into the, the Hotland laser database and take it out. And so we can move on by. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can, well, uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. So we've got this again. What I'm going to go ahead and do is to solve this puzzle, press, and if as long as I've got my notes in order, up, left, down, left, and then, yeah, there we go. Both puzzles have been solved, and now we can move along. Oh. Whatever, I'll just explain it. I heard you got to meet Metaton. Really? Careful, that dude gives me bad vibes. What? But he's so popular. I don't care about people just because they're popular. Well, you can say that because you're popular. Psh, what? Popular with who? You're popular with me. Aw, oh, Papyrus, you're popular with me too. Aw, oh, wowee. Wait, does that mean you don't care about me? Let's not discuss this anymore. <laughs> uh, I think, um, hey, about the puzzles on the left and the right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but, uh... Uh, you already solved them? Awesome! And with this, we're going to go ahead and leave off the episode. And thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and see what's in this dark room. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!